Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God Seller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Sister Barbara and Brother Dan here today. And um, Brother Dan has a word. Uh, you probably, if you're on our God Seller 7 Facebook or my personal Facebook page, uh, Brother Dan's mom passed away yesterday in the afternoon. Um, it, she, she, she was going to be suffering if the Lord didn't call her. So Brother Dan has the scripture. Well, you have the scripture. I oh, have the word. <laughs> Don't confuse me. All right. Okay, I have the scripture. Um, we're in the uh, New King James Version Study Bible. Once again, that's the one that Brother Dan grabbed me. Uh, we're in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5. I'm going to read uh, verse 6. I think 6 to 9. So we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, yes, well pleased, rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Okay, let's see. Therefore, we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well pleasing to him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or bad. So I'm going to stop there, Brother Dan. I'm glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. Today is um, January 2nd of 2017. Um, my mom passed away yesterday about 2.30. Um, she had a battle um, and uh, she suffered a lot. And I, I thank God that, she, you know, he took her away and so that she wouldn't suffer anymore. Uh, I want to thank everybody on um, Facebook and everywhere else and all the other media outlets for their kind words and their comments. Um, what I find interesting is she passed away about 2.30 and um, obviously I took it um, pretty hard and um, at um, 3.20, less than an hour later, um, you know, I was praying to God to give me the strength and um, he gave me this word and um, it's amazing because after I got this word, I had peace. And um, Sister Barbara will tell you that um, I'm doing pretty good, I think. You know, I think uh, I'm doing worse. I, yeah, I think, I, you, I think you are doing Brother worse. Like, take it easy, calm down. Right. So, I mean, I, you know, that's all you could ask for. She's in a better place. And, um, you know, so I'm going to read this word. I got this word about 3.20 yesterday, about an hour after my mom passed away. From the beginning... I knew you. I have strengthened you for this trial. Reach out now and grab my hand. Your tears of sorrow shall soon turn to tears of joy. No father has greater love than I have for you. My love for you is endless. It has no bounds. I shall loosen sorrow's grip upon thee. My peace I give you. I have watched you grow. You have stumbled, but have gotten up and pressed forward. The flower I have planted and nurtured shall soon blossom. Time bears witness to your obedience. Step forward now and receive my embrace, for soon you shall be with me in my Father's house. All your sorrows will be forgotten, and you shall wear the crown of life. Amen. Wow, lovely. Yes. I, I almost started crying today. Yeah, Brother tell Dad's me about like, it. I don't know if I can read this. I'll cry. I'm like, well, I'll probably be crying. No, I, I did pretty good. Yes, so once again, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I had a wonderful message today on the Godzilla 7 Facebook channel. Um, a person in a Muslim country having a problem trying to get someone somewhere to get baptized in Jesus' name. And they did it. I got a message. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it yes, is. Yes, it is. That's it is. why we're here calling sinners yep. to repent. So once again, I'm announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom and His Majesty. I start doing that on September 24th, 2015. Continue on with that prophecy time frame. Um, in sackcloth and ashes, announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom until April 6, 2019. And thank you all, everyone, and welcome all my new friends and subscribers. And God bless you all. Brother Dan? Uh, the only thing I want to add is I want to thank everybody again for all their kind words. 
and their support. And uh, I know, you know, it's going to be a tough week this week. And, um, you know, I know we're doing the right thing, like you say all the time, Barbara, because um, we are getting attacked. And, um, you know, and our job is to bring sinners to repent. And that's what we're doing. And there's some people that don't like that. And we all know who they are. Yes, the enemy that's trying yes. to stop us. We know that. We get it. Shalom.